Hey, so here we are going to see the use of iota in Golang. So iota is basically used to create numeric constants in Golang. So it assigns a group of constants numeric values in a sequential order. So let's say we have a group of constant variables. I'm going to take the example for the month's name. So we have Jan, Feb, March, April. Okay. And let's say we wanted these to be numeric value. Then one base that we can hard code it manually. This way. Okay. And one way is that we can take the advantage of iota over here. So if we assign Jan the value of iota and let's see what happens over here now if we try to print jan then its value is zero okay so iota always starts from zero and for rest of the variables in this particular group of constant it going to assign them numeric value in the incremental way so if we try to print here other variables let's say Feb, March and April and we can see the value is going to be in incremented order okay so this is the use of iota basically we can take the help of this iota to create numeric constants or moreover we can say it as a enum okay so uh, there could be many a way of using this iota let's say we wanted to start this number not from zero but from other number let's say seven then we can just add seven to the iota over here and then if we try to run then value will start from seven so seven eight nine ten and so on also there could be chances that we wanted to ignore a particular sequence let's say for may i don't want the number to be in sequential order so I can put this and then if I try to print the variable then we can see that for this variable the value is not going to be in order. For example, it's a 7, 8, 9, 10. So 11 will be assigned to this one which is not utilized and for next variable it's going to be 12. Okay. So uh, this is the pretty much use of iota and of course there could be a lot of ways of utilizing this iota in Golang and uh, also an important concept over here is that for every new const keyword encountered in the flow iota resets itself to zero so let's say we got here um, random number and now we assign it the value of iota so okay let me make it a camel case so for this case it's not going to be in sequential order which i started previously over here but it is going to reset itself to zero so if we try to print this then we will see that it's reset to zero okay so for random number we got the value zero so this is one cool feature that we can take the use of basically for creating the enums or maybe creating a, a specific pattern or order for a group of constant variables